Hi guys, my name's Naina and today I'm going to be talking about the Zeo Malt by Omritum. So the Zeo Malt is designed to help the digestive tract, so it's for chronic stomach disorders. And when we're saying stomach, we're not just talking about the one organ of the stomach, um, it's the entire koshta, as it's called in Ayurveda, which is like the entire digestive tract. And this is comprised of the stomach, the intestines and the colon. So the Zia malt is very good for balancing out all sorts of digestive issues stemming from the different doshas. So I'm going to be talking about how these different doshas play into various digestive ailments and how the Zia malt ingredients can help. So first, let me talk a little bit about the importance of the stomach in Ayurveda um, and mainly about the entire digestive tract. So as I said before, it's called the koshta and it's comprised of these three sections of the stomach, the intestines and the colon. So the digestive tract is hugely important in Ayurveda because it's where all diseases stem from. So when there's an imbalance in the digestive tract, you're not able to gain proper nutrition from your food armor will accumulate and you will also be experiencing an overspill of doshic imbalance. So as per Ayurveda, each part of the digestive tract has a home for each dosha. So the kapha dosha's home is in the stomach. Home of the pitta dosha will be the intestines, the small intestine, and the home of the vata dosha is the colon. So basically when we get sick um, amongst the armor forming, the emotional, mental aspects of it and the external attributes, internally one of the key factors is that there is an accumulation of dosha. Now this accumulation happens in its respective home or site. If you have too much kapha type food, you will be increasing the kapha in your stomach. If you have too many pitta type foods, you'll be increasing the pitta in the intestines. And if you have too much vata type food, you will be accumulating the vata dosha in the colon. Now you will notice the signs of this accumulation. So when there's an increase of kapha in the stomach, you will notice that you start to feel a little bit sick and heavy. If there's an accumulation of pitta in the intestines, you will notice that there's a little bit of indigestion and acidity happening and some heat around the intestines. And if there's an accumulation of vata dosha in the colon, you will notice an increase in bloating, air and gas. Once these doshas have accumulated due to wrong diet lifestyle, then they will basically end up spreading out beyond the digestive system and finding places to hide within the body and then this is where we start manifesting disease. So you can see why it's incredibly important to keep the digestive tract balanced so that the doshas don't accumulate. One of the key ways to do this is to keep your Agni strong. So if you watch my previous videos, you will find that I speak about the Agni and its importance in maintaining our ability to transform food and also keep transforming in this life in general. There are three major components to keeping the stomach happy. These are Kledaka Kapha, Pachaka Pitta and Samana Vayu. Now, Kledaka Kapha provides the moisture, Pachaka Pitta provides the heat, and Samana Vayu provides the movement. And all three of these forces have a role in enabling our digestive tract to work optimally. So depending on your constitution of which dosha predominates, you will notice that you have a tendency towards having that accumulation of dosha as your first sign of imbalance. So if you're a kapha constitution, you might notice that you feel more nausea and sick. If you're a pitta constitution, you might notice that you get indigestion and acid forming. And if you're a vata constitution, the first thing you're going to notice is some bloating and gas and maybe constipation. So the Zio malt contains loads of good ingredients to keep the digestive tract balanced in all, for all three of these doshas. It's got Haritaki, Amalaki and Trifala in there which help to keep the colon healthy and moving. So movement is very healthy with the digestive tract. We want to keep it moving and not allow things to stagnate and get stuck and build up. It's also got a lot in there having astringent quality. So the astringent quality is going to help with things like hemorrhoids 
and loose stool motions. There's a lot of herbs in there that reduce um, heat in there, so they have a bitter quality. So again, this is gonna relieve the, the intestines of excess pitta and help to bind the stool and reduce acidity. Some of the herbs in there have a light purging action, as I said before, to help to keep things moving. Alongside that, there's a whole beautiful plethora of herbs in these in the Zio malt, including coriander, fennel, cumin, ajwan, hing, long pepper, black pepper, and spearmint. So all of these herbs and spices are very good for your digestion. If you're not able to get them in your home cooked meal normally, this is a really good supplement to take to give yourself a boost of the properties of these herbs so that they can keep your digestive tract healthy. So all the herbs and spices have a, a good pungency to them, which help to create a heat in the body that's not damaging, but balances the acne. The malt's also got some interesting ingredients in there that provide minerals like iron and copper. And it's also got a lovely ingredient in there with conch shell and lemon juice. So in terms of how to take the Zio malt, uh, personally I've been taking it with some warm almond milk, but you can take it with normal milk or some warm water. Take one or half a tablespoon twice a day and see how you go with it. You might want to reduce or increase it depending on how you feel. It's best taken on an empty stomach as the malts can be quite heavy to digest. So if you take it first thing in the morning and then in the evening time, have an early dinner and then maybe take it once the meal is digested before you go to sleep, that would be a good option. So when you're taking Ayurvedic medicine, including supplements like this, it's important to make sure that you do all of the aspects that improve your health. So don't forget to follow a healthy diet of eating timely, home cooked food with fresh ingredients. Make sure that you're providing some sort of movement to your body. Make sure that you're not too stressed out. So keeping yourself calm and collected. And pranayam is a very good tool also. So some working with your prana can help to stimulate the agni to keep yourself in balance. So these practices also help you to keep in your center, which allow you to create a force within you that keep the doshas in their respective sites as well. So the more you're yourself, the more you're in your center, the more likely your agni is going to be stronger and also your doshas are less likely to go out of balance. So now I'm going to give you some dosha specific advice about dealing with the digestive tract. So if you're a vata constitution, remember your digestion is a bit up and down. It's a bit of a roller coaster. We call this vishama agni. It's when you sometimes are hungry and sometimes not. And this type of agni can lead to complications like constipation and IBS. You'll notice that your stool may be slightly darker and more dry. My advice for Vata Dosha people in terms of the digestive tract are the three R's. The first one is routine, the second one is relaxation, and the third one is rejuvenate. So routine helps to keep the Vata happy, so make sure you're eating timely and you're having a good sleep and wake cycle. Relaxation is important to calm the vata dosha, so less movement, less going out, and more calm uh, relaxation methods, and rejuvenate. So always choose things that are going to nourish you and not deplete you in terms of food and lifestyle. Your two go-to herbs would be fennel and hing. And as a snack in between meals, if you have to, go for dates. If you're a pitta constitution, your digestion is really sharp. It's called tikshna agni. So you're the people that get really hangry and have to eat something. Otherwise you start to feel quite um, ratty, but also you can start to feel quite dizzy and unwell. It's important that you do eat regularly. The first thing you will notice with your digestion when it's out of balance is you'll start getting acid reflux, indigestion, and loose stools. Your stool will be slightly lighter in color and have an acidic smell. I would recommend to you the three S's. So the first one is sweat. The second one is remain steady. And the third one is to shout or study. <laughs> so in terms of sweating, it's really good for pitta people to regularly sweat to get the toxins out and also release excess pitta. Secondly, keep steady. So don't allow yourself to become too angry. Um, make sure that your environment keeps you calm and collected and you're organized. 
And thirdly, shout or study. So basically, find a way to release your pitta. Don't shout at people or things. Um, just maybe find a way to release that through by yourself or maybe through study. I say study, but basically it's using the mind. So using the mind to study something, read something, watch something, do a puzzle, whatever it is to keep the brain stimulated. Your two go-to herbs for balancing your digestion are coriander and cumin. And your snack to choose between between meals would be pomegranate. And thirdly, the kapha dosha. So kapha dosha people have an agni which is quite weak and low. It's called manda agni. So they can tend to feel quite sluggish after a meal and they can actually be better off having only one or two meals a day. So the first thing they will notice when their digestion is out of balance is vomiting or being sick because it accumulates too much and starts rising up. They might notice that they have mucus in the stools and they're finding it difficult to move their body so easily, so a lot of tiredness and lethargy. I would recommend the three C's for kapha type people. The first one is to change. The second one is to chat. And the third one is to curb or challenge. In terms of change, it's really good for kapha people to change their routine, change their environment, keep moving to prevent them from stagnating and becoming too habitual in their patterns. Secondly, chat. So when there's something on your mind or your chest that you want to get it off, um, find a good friend to talk to and allow yourself to open up to them and take someone to take care of you. And thirdly, curb or challenge. So you will have great difficulty in controlling the diet because there's a tendency towards emotional eating. So especially towards sweet items. So I would recommend that you have to curb these cravings. Don't keep any sweet items in your office or at home and challenge yourself to go for a walk or do some sort of movement when you have the craving. Your two herbs to help balance your digestion would be black pepper, and dry ginger. And your snack to keep you going when you need to have one is dry crackers with black pepper or popcorn with black pepper. The digestive tract is a very complex part of our health in Ayurveda, yet it's the most important part of our health. So I really like the idea of taking this malt as a small supplement if you suffer from digestive issues. Um, having acne problems can turn into chronic issues if you've spent many years not following a lifestyle that is conducive to your health. So I recommend this Zio malt when perhaps you're when you can't quite spot what's going on and you want to fix something from the root cause, it might be worth giving this one a go. Also, if you're noticing that you're not able to get home-cooked meals as regularly as you'd like, it would be a nice addition to your diet so that you get those herbs and spices in there. And thirdly, it might be useful for people that have come off antibiotics and heavy medications that want to build up their digestion. And thirdly, I would recommend this malt probably more for people that are having pitta related issues, so a lot of acidity and indigestion. Um, I find that the astringency and the binding nature of some of the ingredients would be more suited to a pitta constitution. However, give it a go, play around with the dose, and we're here to answer any questions or concerns that you might have. So good luck on your journey with your digestion. Remember, look after it is a sacred thing, and it's one of the most important or the most important aspect of our health. If we can look after our digestion, our digestion will look after us. So thank you for watching and look forward to my next video where I'm going to be talking about flu key malt.